A man who has a severely burnt face wears a glove with razors for fingers and stalks people in their dreams. Hmm. Why does that sound so familiar? Surely it's just a coincidence. We've got to give the filmmakers of Mahakal the benefit of the doubt, right? Surely they came up with this idea all on their own without having seen or knowing anything about A Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, it's not like the two films share any other similarities. Anita? अपनी तांत्रिक शक्तियों और गैबी विद्या को बढ़ाने के लिए वेल ओके मे बी दे डिड बोरो अ फ्यू मोर आइडियाज बट एट द वेरी लीस देव मेड सम इम्प्रूवमेंट्स टू द फॉर्म्यूला आई डोंट नो अबाउट यू बट वन एवर आई वॉच द नाइट मे ऑन एल स्ट्रीट मूवीज The one thing that I've always felt were missing from those flicks were its characters randomly breaking into song and dance because nothing quite accentuates the fear and dread of a horror movie like a nice little soliloquy in which characters profess their love for one another and their desire to go for a picnic. <laughs> At first I thought what the fuck is happening here but then a few minutes later I found myself holding back on the urge to jump off the couch and start breaking out some of my very own dance moves and it probably wouldn't be a bollywood film without having at least one guy pretending to be Michael Jackson and ridiculous fight scenes and people having the life slapped out of them yahi sala mind your language and lastly but certainly not least thirsty dudes and their quest for bobs and virgin wahan har vishay ki shiksha grahan karna aur dekh shaadi ka in all seriousness though the evil protagonist known as shakal does have a creepy vibe to him and if i had watched this movie when i was a little kid it probably would have really freaked me out but as we all know once you become a fully grown adult it's rather difficult for any movie to make you shit your pants thankfully the people from india understand this better than anyone else so if you pair the film with some of their authentic cuisine you'll likely have no issues replicating that experience <laughs> <laughs> and hey they were even nice enough to add an interlude halfway through just in case that vindaloo starts hitting you a little earlier than expected if there was any big issue that i had with the movie it has to be its unnecessarily long run time at about 45 minutes longer than your typical nightmare movie there's simply no vindication for this <laughs> So yes, Mahakal stole pretty much everything it possibly could from one of horror's most beloved franchises. And while some may consider that to be completely reprehensible, I personally don't care about that as I found Mahakal to be rather enjoyable, even if it is for mostly all the wrong reasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.